intellectual. Who do you think you are trying to impose your bigotry, your views on society through your Christian monotheist? We are the defenders yes, of the government. You are threatening the freedom of all while disseminating anti misinformation. Student fascists shouting down a pro-life event featuring a local MP while campus police stand by and do nothing. Joining us now from Ottawa is that MP, Stephen Woodworth, the MP from Kitchener Centre. Welcome to the show, Mr. Woodworth. You were speaking at University of Waterloo, just 15 minutes drive from your house. You were an invited guest there by the Pro-Life Club. How did it feel to be shouted down and have the cops stand by and lecture you about leaving for your own safety? Well, actually, if I may say, I, I did actually have a, a room full of protesters captivated for about 15 or 20 minutes before they uh, interrupted me. And I was talking about the importance of democratic institutions in Canada. So that I don't think they quite got the message that day, but I hope I'm, uh, I've planted the seeds. Uh, so, you, so you spoke for uh, a, a portion of your speech and then I guess they just got bored with listening and decided to end your speech and not wait for the Q&A session? Is that what you're saying happened? That's correct. They just began uh, shouting and screaming at the top of their lungs, and uh, I wasn't about to have a shouting contest with them. And no one says you should. I wouldn't yeah. either, even though I sort of like shouting. But uh, I, I see in the video footage there were at least three campus police, uh, by my inspection, maybe more. Did they at any time try to... Uh, bring order. From what I saw, they just sort of stood there and told you for your own safety, you should scram. Did, yeah. they, did they try and shut down uh, these fascist interrupters? I think they did ask uh, people uh, who were interrupting to leave, but I think they stopped short of wanting to escalate it uh, to a physical level. And you have to remember that uh, this is really abortionism at work. Abortionism is a philosophy that uh, puts abortion ahead of every democratic value, including free speech. So uh, one doesn't know where, uh, whether uh, those folks would have escalated further, and uh, I certainly wouldn't want to put the officers in any kind of risk of uh, physical uh, confrontation. Well, that's very generous of you, but their job, of course, is to enforce the rules, and, and part of the reasons they get paid the big bucks and wear that fancy uniform and get our moral respect is that they are willing uh, to do dangerous things sometimes to uphold the rule of law. I find it unusual that they would focus on you rather than the troublemakers there. Let me confirm, you were the invited guest of a yeah. university club that had properly rented that room. So this was all done in, you know, this wasn't some Hyde Park style speaker's corner. This was properly done by registering. The fact the cops were there tells me that this was, you know, a formal event. Am I right? Yes, that's correct. And I wasn't there even to talk about abortion. I was there to talk about whether it can ever be appropriate to give the state the power to designate someone as non-human without regard to their real or actual nature as a human being. So uh, what I was talking about was surely democratic values, and we have a long tradition in Canada. But abortionism trumps democratic values for these folks. Since uh, this occasion, there's been some press coverage on this show and elsewhere. Have you received any comments, uh, uh, apologies, invitations to go back from the university admi administration or from campus police? Or have they sort of left this as, yeah, that's how we do it? No, uh, the uh, president of the university has been quite clear in apologizing. Uh, he certainly uh, spoke to me personally to apologize, and I and I expect he probably uh, issued that apology publicly also. And and he's uh, invited me back and uh, indicated that uh, next time uh, they will do something different. But uh, I didn't uh, get into details with him about what might be done differently. This isn't the first time this has happened. Christy Blasford was uh, Blasford was also shouted down by students at University of Waterloo. But I don't want to pick on Waterloo. I've seen this across the country. Uh, that free speech wall at Carleton, the University of Calgary, sending police uh, to lay charges against pro-lifers. Do you think that uh, civil libertarians in this country have a blind spot when it comes to pro-lifers? I, I see the Civil Liberties Association talking a lot more about G20 protesters' rights than they do about pro-lifers' rights, don't you? Yeah, I, I uh, really uh, hesitate to comment in a general way, but I do know that in my work in standing up for democratic values, the greatest threat that I've seen has been from that abortionism that I'm talking to you about, whereby everything, equality uh, and uh, free speech, civil dialogue, uh, are 
uh, set aside in order to uh, promote uh, or protect abortion. Stephen Wilworth, thanks for coming on our show. You'll always have Welcome. a free speech platform here, as Thank will pro-choicers, by the way. This is your free speech zone. Canada should be, but for now, it's the source. Not the